You think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? I'm just going to be straightforward with you guys. This movie is bad. Very bad. Insanely bad. It's actually amazing how terrible it is. It's easily the laziest movie I have ever seen. And one of the worst when it comes to actual animation. I thought that Leo the Lion was the worst, and then I said it was Joshua on the Promised Land. But those movies are goddamn fantastic when compared to this one. And I realize that I keep saying that X is the worst movie ever, even though I keep discovering new ones. So in order to stop that trend, I'm just going to make a list so things don't get too repetitive in the future. But as of now, Trollland is number one by a long shot, and I will show you why. No. So I found out about this film when I was watching the DVD for Cargo. It's part of that batch of the Asylum films that they want to promote. And at first, I thought it didn't look too bad. I mean, it didn't look good, but meh, it could have had some merit to it. But then I saw the actual movie. Oh my god. That trailer was very deceiving. Trailland. Okay, so let's go over my five bullet points. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Oh my god, it's insanely bad. The animation is nightmarish. Body parts flailing around, having seizures, going off in their own direction, fingers that look broken. I mean, the characters don't even clamp down on the items that they're holding. Instead, they just float around their bodies. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't even want to come here. This movie is littered with animation errors, to the point where it's no longer funny. Eh, well, I mean, it's still kind of funny, but it gets pretty old after a while. Check this out. This one character says she's napping, but she can't even close her eyes. Instead, she just leans back as her hand freaks out. The humans slept in tents and were always on the lookout. Had their heads on swivel, they did. It had to be crafty. Now, the designs of the characters are not that bad, but the movie has no problem copy-pasting them all over the place. I mean, there are scenes where the exact same models are right next to each other, and they don't even bother changing the color scheme. Thanks for all your help. It was a lot of work, but this is finally shaping up to be a good day. I never thought I would use Joshua as a positive example, but at least that movie shows expressions. But here, it's just some sock puppet moving its mouth. And that's even if the movie decides to move the character's mouth at all. There are scenes where the characters talk, but they never even move their lips. And you tell everybody and they laugh and they think you're crazy, but I'm not. And finally, the layering. I don't even know what to say. It just seems that the characters were slapped over the background, and that creates a lot of perspective problems when you're watching the film. What gets me the most about Trollland is how little they cared. This film obviously has problems. Problems that they did not care to correct. The production company made this movie and said, eh, it's good enough, and released it in 2016 to steal viewers from the movie Trolls. Oh snap. DreamWorks Trolls. This level of carelessness is unacceptable, but I'm not surprised since this film was made by the Asylum. Seriously, these guys suck. It's insulting to viewers that they thought that this was good enough to release. That hey, these kids are dumb, they'll watch anything. That's amazing, Ben. I'm so sick of this film already that I don't even want to talk about how it was made. Simply put, it was created by the Asylum, and it features voice actors who obviously needed a paycheck. Isn't that right, Ja Rule? He voices the main character after all. We also have the voice of Beast Boy, Debbie Derryberry, and of course, Dick Van Dyke. Because, uh, <laughs> why the hell not? Turning it from mere pastime to the very centerpiece of their lives. They even gave it a name, 
the prank of palooza And the person who directed this film was... Eh, I'm gonna say Satan. Sure, he made it. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. So we start off with these awful drawings as Dick Van Dyke tells us the history of the trolls, how they prank the humans and have been doing that for thousands of years. The old trolls took great joy in tormenting mankind. The downside, of course, was that man soon figured out this could work both ways. The spirited trolls embraced this new interaction, turning it from mere pastime to the very centerpiece of their lives. And guys, I just want to give props to this amazing art. Only the best fifth graders with deviant art accounts are allowed to work on this movie. Though they remain hidden, trolls made their mark on the new world. It hasn't even been a minute, and we already have an error. The Dick Van Dyke troll says we've never been seen, but right there in that drawing, that troll is captured. And guys, trust me, that is the first of many errors to come. No! So the main story takes place at some summer camp for kids. No, no, no. You are not about to drag the good name of Nintendo Game Boy through the mud. What do we have here? A play lad <laughs> by Asylum. And they're not even playing a game. That's just the title screen. We are then introduced to Olaf, the villain of the film, a guy who is obsessed with capturing trolls and just looked like he took a dump in his pants. <laughs> Oh, we're breaking the fourth wall already. Whoa! What are you doing, oh. Mr. Sego Bottom? Well, yeah, um, snake. It's a big one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Wait, so he ripped his pants, but now they're not ripped. And this girl with blonde hair now has dark hair. Miss Jessica was looking for you, Mr. Stego Bottom. Let's get out of here. Come on. So the trolls live in a secret location, which really isn't that secret. It's literally under a bridge near the camp. I'm sure no one's gonna find that. We then meet the main character of the movie, Finn. Ah, Finn. Thought I'd find you here. You weren't planning on ducking out of the ceremony, were you? No, of course not. Look at his broken fingers. Sorry, sorry. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. This movie just does not care about its characters. They are constantly clipping. I mean, check it out. The old guy's hood and staff are going right through his body. A lot of new faces out there making names for themselves, keeping the human's ego in check with some of the best pranking I've seen since I was a kid. <sighs> Time to take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap now. Now excuse me while I hold my head back, keep my eyes open, and have my hand freak out over here. Had their heads on a swivel, <laughs> they did. It had to be crafty. With nearly 1,000 points, young Jarvik here is well on her way to becoming this year's prank queen. Wait, 1,000 points? It said like three points on the board. Yes. You'll have to make up for it by giving us all of them. Uh, uh. Ooh, hold on. Are they implying that she pushed him? Because she was like, what, two feet away from the guy. Uh, uh. Ow. Ow, ow! Acting stupid, Jarvik. I want to be a queen. Let's prank people. It's tradition. You know what? Who needs lip syncing when the lips aren't even moving? Olaf! Come out of there, you little... He's not even clamping down! I have you now! <laughs> Finally! Look, his hand clips right through his body! God, this movie is so lazy! <laughs> Oh, Olaf. Having one of your cocaine parties again. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. And here we have Hayden, the human kid who gets picked on by bullies. <laughs> Aww. Hey, nerd! You talking to bugs again? No, I wasn't talking to the bugs, Flint. I was talking to myself. You say that like it's not any dumber, Freyden. Freyden the friendless. They're, uh, <laughs> awfully proud of that Freyden joke, aren't they? Give it back! Yeah. My mom gave it to me! Then why did you use it to pay the toll? Confound your lousy toll, troll. 
God damn it. Then Hayden's body just goes crazy. No way, Hayden. Hey, easy with my scientific notebook. I don't want to tear it. <laughs> this, this movie's gonna kill me. Hayden is holding his notebook and running through the trees, but he's actually not holding it down. The notebook is literally floating around him. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't even want to come here. And they know I'm I have never seen such lazy animation in all of my life. And that includes Joshua in the Promised Land. <laughs> and the notebook looks massive here. Like the perspective is all messed up. I didn't trap you. That's a human trap. I know. I'm caught in it. No, no, no. It's Olaf. He set that trap to catch trolls. These characters have zero expression. Like, the models don't look so bad, but they never do anything with the faces. Uh, uh. Okay, so let me catch you up with the story so far. Finn is a peaceful troll, and Hayden is a peaceful human. So they just want to hang out and be friends. Now, pull it towards you. Yeah, you see? Whoa. What the hell just happened? Why did he just go flying? I've fallen and I can't get up. Does Olaf try to trap you because you prank him or do trolls prank him because he tries to trap you? Yes. So they figured out the tension rope trap of total trapping. There are times where Olaf's fanny pack looks like a massive bulge in his crotch instead. <laughs> Wow, guys, I am speechless. Look at those amazing water effects. It's like looking into a mirror. All right, so it's bedtime for the campers, but the lighting in this room is really bad, so it makes them look like they're possessed. Hayden, you're such a good artist. Would you help me make new banners tomorrow and set them up? Also, get your dirty shoes off the bed sheets. Glow caps. Are we going to see the glow caps? Well, what's wrong with his finger? It actually looks broken. My arm! So Hayden and Finn sneak off to go see the glow caps or something, but Olaf follows them. Yo! I! I! I don't know the context of this scene. Like, I have no idea why Olaf's jumping on the ground and freaking out. So cool. Ah. Oh man, uh, sitting down's quite the problem, isn't it? Amazing. Did he just fart? It's underground, under the roots of a very old, very big tree, near the foot of an old trestle bridge. I know exactly where that is. I, I sketched a drawing of it last week. Oh my god, these trolls are so stupid. This is our secret home that no one knows about. Oh, I know where that is. See, I got pictures. Something about this high. Something unusual. You saw something like that, right? <laughs> no, sir. Something special. Yeah, this scene kind of freaks me out. Olaf starts obsessing over the trolls and gets on his knees. I'm coming. Kick off! Yeah, yeah here we let's go! go. Come on. <laughs> what? Did that ball just break and make a balloon noise? <laughs> oh my god, this movie! Come on, Adrian. Looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> Do these kids have arthritis? My bones! So the deer starts off by eating the face of the troll, and then we get a perspective that is kind of questionable. <laughs> Okay, so Hayden and Finn are hitting it off and are becoming friends, but they gotta keep it quiet from everyone. Well, they ain't here. This movie has the audacity to recreate a scene from Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, uh, binoculars don't go there. All right, so Finn's sister has this idea to pull this massive prank, to cut down the water tower and have it pour all over the campers. But Finn says that this is too dangerous of a plan. This is so bad. Hey, hey! Trying to sneak by us, huh? Oh no. Whoa, how about that? Apparently she has force pull. And what's with the background here? It's blurry, and then not blurry, and then it's completely blurry? God, the perspective in this movie is so messed up. Finn, it doesn't matter. We know the truth. 
The truth is, humans can't be trusted. I'm sorry, Yissa, but I met a human I can trust. <laughs> My god. This movie is actually Avatar. Which by that I mean Pocahontas. Which by that I mean Dances with Wolves. Which by that I mean Pocahontas. So Finn tells Hayden about the big prank and how they need to stop it. Jarvik is planning a really big prank and I'm worried kids might get hurt. Hayden looks like he's about to fall asleep here. Trolls, come out and play! <laughs> okay, there's Olaf's shirt, clipping right through his body. And here we have another one, with his troll's crotch. So the plan is for Hayden and Finn to speak to the trolls and prove to them that they could be friends. They also go into super ragdoll mode. My backpack! There's no time! What just happened? Things literally just disappear in this movie. Two trolls in one set. Two! I, I don't know what to say here, guys. His body just starts freaking out, and it looks like he's got dumpy pants. Da, 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 the triumphant trapper of trolls! Where'd the bag go? There's nothing in that cage. So Finn's sister lies to Hayden and tells him that Finn was playing a prank on him and was never his friend. You bought that hole. I hate pranking. I'm a nice troll routine. That is hilarious. <laughs> you mean it was a joke? I, I, I don't believe you. That's your problem, kid. Think about it. I've got no reason to lie to you. Bullshit. <laughs> the animation errors are so bad that he can't even stand up. <laughs> ah! oh, that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. So for whatever reason, Hayden believes in the sister and stomps away with his broken legs. <laughs> I'm sorry I ever <laughs> met you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> 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 this is the only scene in the movie where we get some kind of emotion from the face of a character. I mean, uh, I don't know what kind of emotion, but uh, some kind. I pranked him so hard, he'll never come back. Now, come on. So Finn runs off to tell the truth to Hayden and grabs some of the pages from the notebook. Except for that page. That page is just going somewhere else. Yeah, I don't think that's how you shoot an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. Ah, there it is. A fart joke. Number one troll hunter. Number one. Why is there a picture of the Queen of England on his wall? And, and I'm not talking about an animated version, but an actual picture of Queen Elizabeth on his wall. What? Uh, Miss Counselor, the, the tables are floating again. So Hayden frees the trolls and they get out of Olaf's office. I don't think a troll's ever said that to a human before. Finn and I do it all the time. We're friends. Oh, and you're welcome. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but now is not the time for breaks. What did he say? Uh, seriously, I, I can't understand him. So Olaf unveils his secret machine to catch the rest of the trolls. Meet my masterpiece. Olaf is coming. I'm coming. Gross. And he knows where we live. How? How is that possible? How did he know? You live under a bridge that is right next to the camp. It's really not that big of a shock. And we have some sound clipping. <laughs> so Finn frees the other trolls as they fall and slide out of the bag. <laughs> Nice try. They'll all be down at the lake for the big canoe race and cookout. Somebody sank all the canoes, remember? Quiet, you! Well, no wonder why it's not working. It's like some kind of garden shovel. So Hayden talks down Javerick, or Jarvis, or whatever the f her name is, and she stops her prank. Wrong! I just 
want to hit something really hard. So basically, um, what I was thinking of was, um, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. I love how Olaf just runs head first into one of his traps for no reason. Well, do you want a hand? Ugly little bugaboos. Yeah! Ah! So Olaf finally chills out and becomes friends with the trolls. I knew you were real. At first, I just wanted to know I was right. So I got a job here just so I could hunt you. Then you played tricks on me, and I wanted to pay you back. I guess I got carried away. Well, we're no better. We went out of our way to prank you, and we're sorry. Well, I'm not. Bum, bum, bum. And then we get one of the worst perspective shots from the entire film. Go on, little brother. If you can handle me, you can handle this. Gross. Hey, Frayden. It's Hayden. We know Fra Do you? Do you know? You coward? Listen, you son of a bitch. What the fuck's your problem? You want to sit here and say that I'm a goddamn fucking Russian? Also, he's not using his mouth again. It's Hayden, Flint. And come on, you know I can outrun either of you. <laughs> Look at Flint. He's going to throw a punch. A Charvik! Booga booga to you too! <laughs> oh my god, that eye animation. I, I know that fish. That's one of the fish from Izzy's Way Home. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot. You know what? Sure, why not? A bond of trust and friendship grew to replace the mistrust and fear of the past. <laughs> Did he bump his mic? <laughs> what, whatever, it's the end of the movie. Who cares? Also, the music drowns out his voice, but then they realize that and turn it down. Afterwards, she found new purpose helping Ben steer the warren in their new pastime of guiding the camp kids. Even the legs in the drawing are broken. They became the invisible helpers of the campground, finding lost kids and even saving them from themselves when necessary. Oh no, my phone. Are they implying that the trolls are on suicide watch and are preventing the kids from jumping? No, no, don't jump. You got so much to live for. He's got my leg. <laughs> Let me go. Okay, seriously. I I am done with this movie. Um <sighs> Hey guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to my top tier supporters on Patreon. Toongren, Screenflare, Chad Butler, Mocavio, Moondoggy, Illegally Sane, and Julius. Thank you all so much for your support. Like I said before, this movie is just one big animation error. Typically, errors like these are few and far between, but there are quite literally hundreds of them in this film. Well, I, I told you to, to be careful. Okay, so let's run down my five bullet points. Story. It's a uh, pretty basic. Nothing we haven't seen before. Two outcast characters who are bullied and try to bring their people together. Been there, done that. Honestly, I don't know how or who started it, but it's gotten out of control. How do you stop something like that? I don't know. Voice acting. This is the most forgivable element of the movie. Now that does not mean that it's perfect because it's far from it. Miss Jessica was looking for you, Mr. Stagobottom. All the canoes sank this morning. Hmm? She wants them fixed by the summer jamboree boat race. Dialogue. <laughs> it was pretty weird. You had your fun. Come on this way. <laughs> that was close. Too bad she didn't run you over. That is not nice. Editing. It got so much worse as the movie went on. Parts that would abruptly end or go on for far too long. And animation. I feel like I've driven this point home by now. From start to finish, this movie was broken. Now, the characters themselves aren't terribly designed, but that doesn't help when they don't even move properly. Their bodies just spaz out across the screen while their faces and mouths barely move. Thanks. You're welcome. 
In conclusion, this movie has taken the number one spot on my worst movies list. It is so freaking lazy, and it makes Joshua and Leo look extraordinary in comparison. I mean, if you want a movie to laugh at with your friends, then I say go for it. But if we're talking about actual quality, then this movie is quite literally the bottom of the barrel. If you want to save some brain cells, do not watch it. My only regret is that I have... Bonitis!